Hi everyone, I'm Raku and in today's episode of Air Combat Maneuvering we will fly the first maneuver we don't really fly solo, the head-on gun attack. The name tells us uh, everything we need to know about the execution, but as always there are a few quirks. Sure, the execution sounds fairly simple. Be in a head-on scenario and shoot your gun at the incoming bandit. If you are using a radar guided firing solution, then you just put your pipa onto the target onto the target and pull the trigger. If you don't use your radar, then it gets a bit tricky because if you apply a bit of logic, we have to estimate the lead. We will see that later on as we won't use a, a radar firing solution. Today we are flying an F-15C and as I said in the introduction, this is hard to fly solo because you need an enemy for this. The AI is, uh, well, let's not talk about the AI, I brought my buddy Chagrad. Hi there. And of course today's scenario is kind of a choreography because we are flying head on from a few miles away. You can actually see him out front. We activated the model enlargement for this, uh, so let's just see how this works. Let me put on a bit of throttle and as I said before I have to lead him. You see my, my gun pipper and I will hold my pipper above him. This way if I shoot early enough he will fly right into my bullets. And this can work but it doesn't has to have to work. So it's, it's more or less a 50-50 chance and how good you are at, at estimating distance and the needed lead and how your bullets are flying and so on. We'll come to the tactical advantages in, in a few seconds. Okay, he's closing in, actually quite quite near me. And oh, you could always, you could see I, I hit him quite good. It's and uh, that's the execution. Okay, let's have a quick look at tech view. We'll be looking at tech view more frequently in the in the next parts because now things get interesting. But for now, there are only two really interesting things we can see here. One is the flight path of the bullets. I mean, this was uh, this was the path pass we we actually performed in the video, and this is yeah the flight path of the bullets. You see, they they travel quite straight. But of course they go up and what goes up comes down again. So if I if I had chosen to, to, to fly straight on, I might have actually flown into my own bullets. And this would have been quite bad. At least I don't want to explain to anyone why I did that. So if you do this kind of maneuver, just break. Break away from your own damn bullets. We can see that um, a bit better in the the tech view file for the German head-on pass I uh, we performed. Here I begin to to spray him, and here's another thing you you might see. Let's take a look at it from from the profile view because duck uh, this bullet here might have actually hit him or these. Let's let's track these down. Let's use uh, I'll use my keyboard. Let's track this this spray of bullets down. If I just had aimed a little bit higher, actually, this uh, might have hit him from 2.8 miles away, and this is quite far, I think. I just have to aim a little bit higher, but you can see the velocity the bullet loses, and here you can see. Because I spray a bit more here you can see a really good picture of the flight path and how they actually lose velocity. If I didn't break away my bullets might have hit me around here or even further down depending on my speed obviously. And this is quite impress impressive I think. I mean the first uh, the first load of bullets I fired is, is still down here and they might uh, have have enough velocity to actually damage me so take care of that please actually take care of your own weapons all the time please <laughs> i uh, wish you fun flying this i wish you fun training this and i hope to see you next time